In South Korea, I found a pastor who saved 1,600 babies from death. 안녕하세요. 30 years ago, Pastor Lee had a baby of his own who was born with complications. Because of this, he spent a lot of time in hospitals where he saw single mothers abandon their babies. So Pastor Lee decided to save these babies by creating the baby box. It's a small hole in the wall by his church where women could come in secret, place the baby in the box and leave. The weight of the baby will sound the alarm and Pastor Lee will come and collect it. So far, he's done this hundreds of times. Pastor Lee's work is inspiring, but we need to do better. We need to build a world where no mother is scared to have a baby and no baby is left in a box. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In India, we found a farmer who saved thousands of lives using his tuk-tuk ambulance. And guess what? He's not even a medic. Hi, I am Karimulha. Everyone call me Ambulance Dada. Ambulance Dada lives in a place with no hospitals. So when people get sick, he volunteers to drive them on his bike and bring them to a hospital all for free. He saved thousands of lives this way, riding more than 50 kilometers over rivers, bad traffic, even bumpy roads where a normal ambulance cannot go. After years of doing this, he saved up enough donations to build his own Ambulance Dada Hospital so everyone can be treated immediately and on the spot also for free. Guys like him are the reason humanity is beautiful. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. This scientist can tell if you have cancer just by smelling your breath. Hi, Nas Daily. My name is Hossam Hai. Professor Hossam is a Palestinian Israeli, just like me. When his best friend got cancer, Professor Hossam decided to spend his life fighting cancer. The problem with cancer is that it grows inside your body. And when you know about it, it's too late. But turns out cancer has a smell. And dogs can smell cancer just from your breath or urine. So he built a device that works like a dog's nose. It's called Nanose. It can study your breath, look for tiny cancer molecules, and if they exist, it will signal an alert that there is cancer inside of you. His device is still a work in progress, but if it works, we can build a world that is entirely cancer free. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. Meet Heidi. Hi, my name is Heidi. I have the hardest job in the world. Pause. I know what you're thinking. For that job to be the hardest in the world, she must be an executive, an oil driller, or a super athlete. But she's none of those. I'm a caretaker. She moved from the Philippines to the United States to become a caretaker. Every day, she feeds and comforts the elderly. See, that's what she does. She gives me peace. She gives medications and checks blood pressure. She replaces diapers and cleans spilled food. She listens and she comforts and she becomes your friend. And at the end, she is forced to say goodbye to her friends as they depart this world. All for little recognition, little money, and little sleep. It's easy to overlook women, caretakers, and low-income people. But the work Heidi does is work that all of us will need. When we get old, our family might not be there. But you know for sure that Heidi will. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Nepal, I found a doctor who does eye surgery for $3. Meet Dr. Ruit. He is the god of sight. He treats people with cataracts. It's a disease that 90% of us may get by the age of 65. Our vision gets blurry, everything goes dark, and we can go blind. Cataract surgery costs $200, and not everyone can afford it. But Dr. Ruit figured out a way to treat cataract for just $3 in less than 5 minutes. That's why he went 
to treat poor people in China, India, Nepal, and even North Korea. So far, he has personally treated 100,000 people for free. It's obvious, if we can make surgeries and medicine cheap, we can save millions of lives, just like Dr. Lee. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Lebanon, I found a doctor who gave away hundreds of free plastic surgeries. But why? Hi, Nas Daily. My name is Joe Barouz. Dr. Joe is a plastic surgeon whose life changed forever when this happened in Lebanon. Hundreds died and thousands had serious injuries. These scars can last a lifetime and be a source of depression because it reminds them of the tragedy every day. So Dr. Joe decided to do something. He offered free plastic surgeries to anyone who wanted their face to be fixed. And guess what? Hundreds of people showed up. In total, he treated 400 people for free. Many people think plastic surgery is just about looking pretty. But in this case, by fixing their face, this doctor healed hundreds of people from the outside and the inside. That's one minute. See you tomorrow. In Israel, we found a guy who built the fastest ambulance in the world. Hi, my name is Eli Beer. Eli saw how regular ambulances kept getting stuck in traffic and couldn't make it in time to save a life. So he got a motorcycle, call it an ambucycle. Hired and trained volunteers, gave them an ambucycle and let them get back to their lives. Every time someone calls for help, his technology finds the closest volunteer that can help. They drop whatever they are doing, arrive on the scene and give medical care until the big ambulance shows up. Ellie's system is so fast that the volunteers show up in less than three minutes. And together they've saved more than three and a half million lives. What you're looking at is a group of people who came together under one organization called United Hatsal to rise above politics, money, race and religion just to save lives. That's one minute, see you tomorrow.